Hey there, everyone. Um, we are only working on the layer drawing that ha that won our decision matrix. So all of the other ones are losers. Let's only look at the winning layer drawing based off of our uh, decision matrix that we did just the other day. So I'm going to make this part, which is this part, um, on on shape. Now you're more than welcome to use Inventor if you are in school. But on shape is uh, the way to go right now because you can work on this at home or while you're in school. So opening up on shape, uh, first of all, if you have not already created a folder called Puzzle Cube, please do that now by hitting the create and going to the folder button and then typing Puzzle Cube. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to create this blue part, which is also this blue part. So having your layer drawing open and available is super helpful in this because you guys will not have 3D printed parts. Now, if you have your puzzle cubes and you um, are just, we're not gluing them together yet because we've got to make sure this fits. But um, if you're just kind of laying it out so you have something to look at, that's also another good way to do it. Here we go. I'm going to hit create and document, and I'm going to call this blue part and then throw your initials on there. Um, now, chances are you do not have this part made um, or even uh, designed in your puzzle. So just, this is just kind of a reference video, not so much a tutorial. All right. So how I start puzzle parts is I find the view that has the uh, most detail. So I'm going to do like this L right there. So I'm going to actually turn off the top view and the right view, and I'm just going to look at the front view. I'm going to hit sketch, click on that, and then bring it over here. I'm always going to uh, grab a line and start on the origin, and I'm going to go up, over, down, over, and back down, making sure that... <clears throat> Oh, making sure that I'm connecting all of the lines as uh, as well as possible while also um, uh, making my right angles uh, as good as possible. Now, if you ever mess that up and you're like, hey, I need some right angles or perpendicular angles, you can always grab that constraint that is right here. Um, and you can also use this equals because this we want equal to this. We also want this equal to this. So we want this top to be 0.75. And so because this top part is one cube wide, and so we're doing measurements and multiples of 0.75. So if we grab our dimension tool and I do this side, I can type 0.75 times three, and that will give me 2.25. Now. I can go around and say, hey, that's already 1.5. That's right. That's already 0.75. That's right. And so you should have a multiple of 0.75 everywhere uh, we are. Now, you said, hey, wait a second. These are grayed out and these are solid black. That's because of our constraints. Okay. We made this equal to here and also this one. So that makes this automatically 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Okay, I'm going to hit the green uh, checkbox and I am going to extrude that. So I clicked extrude, I clicked that. And again, I want multiples of 0.75 or three quarters of an inch. Go ahead and hit enter or the green checkbox. And so now you're looking at that, but we have a part here that comes right off. We have a 0.75 part or square that comes right off of here. So I'm going to click on the solid. I'm going to start a sketch right here on the face of the front. And I'm going to grab my um, square. I'm going to start on this corner and I'm going to draw up. Now, a couple things I'm going to dimension. I'm going to dimension for location. So I'm going to make sure this dimension is 0.75, which it is. I'm going to make sure that the width of it is 0.75, which it is. And then I'm going to uh, click on here and here, and I'm going to make this 0.75. Okay. All right.
Holy cow. All these reports coming at me. Okay. Um, then let's finish that sketch and extrude that part. And the biggest thing is 0.75. Your multiples are all 0.75. There you go, green checkbox. So now I have this part. Now, as I go back and I'm like, hey, does that look like that? All I have to do is hit isometric. You know what? It looks pretty darn close. Now, since I said I wanted to be blue, I'm going to click and drag, highlight everything, right click on there and go to edit appearance and pick a blue. You know, if you want to go this blue, that's great. If you want to, you know, do a little lighter blue, baby blue, um, you can do that too. So hit the green checkbox. I'm all done. I've got my initials on it um, and it is in my, um, my Onshape Puzzle Cube folder right there. It'll take a second to show up, but if I double click on it, it will show back up. So you need to make each one of your parts from your layer drawings. Um, remember that everything is a 0.75 multiple. Um, and as you rotate around, you will see that um, everything is essentially looks like it is made from one of these wooden cubes. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help. All right. Have a good one.